Today I'm going to show you a preview of Grails 3. So just like in Grails 2, with Grails 3 you have a Grails command line which you can interact with. As you can see I'm running 3.0 milestone 1. I can create my application with the normal Grails create app command and then cd into that and start up Grails interactive mode just as in previous versions of Grails. Just like previous versions of Grails, we can tab and see all the different commands that are available to me. And we can run any of those. For example, I can type, type compile to compile my application. Note that the application is using Gradle instead of Gantt, and, and hence we get all the goodness of Gradle's uh, incremental compilation. To create, to create a wall file, we can run the package command and that will build the wall file, file compiling of my assets um, into a runnable application. Unlike previous versions of Grails, to get started within an IDE, you don't really need any <coughs> special tooling. Using IntelliJ IDEA Conveniency Edition, I can import the project directly simply by pointing at the builder gradle of the project and opening it up. Click OK and that will import my Grails project directly into IntelliJ IDEA. So here I have my project having using the typical Grails directory structure with my Grails app directory. We have the assets directory, configuration. One notable difference between previous versions of Grails is that configuration can be done either with YAML or Groovy. By default, we have an application.yaml file, but you can create an application.groovy file to do configuration in the previous style. Here, we, as you can see, <coughs> contains all of my configuration for my application. We also have a logback.groovy for configuring logging. And if we want to add additional spring beans, just like in Grails 2, you have a resources.groovy file. The rest is pretty much the same. One new unique thing to Grails 3 is a new init directory. And in here you will find your bootstrap uh, file for running code on startup. But you'll also find a file called application. And the application class is essentially allows you to spin up your Grails application uh, directly inside of your IDE rather than resorting to the command line. This is thanks to Rails 3 being built on top of Spring Boot. Uh, so to run my application, I can just right click and run the application. I can then go to a browser, type in localhost 8080, and here is my running application. Note that Grails will automatically attach uh, the appropriate uh, uh, spring loaded reloading agent so that you get reloading automatically. Of course, you can still run the application via the command line using interactive mode using the same run app command that you used to. This will spin the application up using, using the Gradle build. And again, we can go to my browser and uh, refresh, and there is my application. If you wish to stop the application, we can just control C and it will drop, back, drop us back down into interactive mode. Just like previous versions of Grails, we can easily create domain classes. So I can create a domain class called book, which will create my domain class in my Grails app slash domain directory, as in previous versions of Grails. We can then uh, modify it, adding a title and a release date. And just like pre previous versions of Grails, uh, we have the ability to generate an interface for that domain class. There it is. Um, I can then run my application. And there we have my controller with the interface for creating and editing books. Um, the nice thing about Grails 3 is when we assemble a WAR file uh, or a JAR file, we can essentially 
run the application directly using just Java. Then to run the application, we can just use Java slash jar pointing to our application wall file. And there it is, my girl's application up and running again, standalone. Another nice new feature of Grails 3 is the ability to create functional tests and run them directly on the IDE. So I can create a functional test called bar functional. Um, and if we look at my tests, you can see that I have a new bar functional spec. And this will actually use Jeb directly to test my application. It's marked as an integration test. And simply by right-clicking on the test, we can run it directly from the IDE. If you have a suite of a number of different tests, then it will only load the application container once for the entire suite of functional tests, thus allowing you to run a number of different tests very quickly.